Howdy folks, welcome to this episode of Vern's Misadventures. So, I'm not real sure how it happened. Somehow or another, we managed to corrupt something. If you notice here on my dock here, I have a shortcut for the gnome terminal. Right? And for some reason, it doesn't want to run anymore. So if we click it, we get the circles for a little while, and then it times out and just quits. And so, I have the drop-down terminal, which is a GNOME extension. And uh, to launch it, we just press the key that's directly above the tab key on my keyboard. And uh, here, let me clear this. So, if we try to launch the GNOME terminal from this terminal, so we just simply go gnome-terminal. Then it'll show you the errors that you get. And one of them says using the fallback C locale. Now, I've had a problem before where I didn't set the locale properly. And then gnome terminal didn't work. Like I say, this was working and then I updated some stuff and now it doesn't. So maybe something got corrupted somewhere. At any rate, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, reconfigure our locale settings. Now, I live in Texas, which of course is in the United States. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our Etsy locale gen. Maybe it would be easier if I could bring up a different terminal. Let me see. I think there's an X terminal. Let me close this one. And we'll just go... We'll search for terminals. Well, I have a deep end terminal. Maybe that'll run. So deep end terminal will work. And perhaps when I install the deep end desktop as a secondary desktop, maybe that's what messed it up here. So let's uh, let's see here. Control Shift plus plus no. Control plus yeah. All right, so we will make this as large as we can. And uh, let's see what we can do here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Nano to look at this file real quick. So uh, sudo nano etsy locale.gen. And let's see here. So if we arrow on down, we should find somewhere where the English should be uncommented. So we go down to the E's. So here we are. It's not uncommented. So I think that's exactly what happened here. So we will we'll go over here. Alright, so these two here need to be uncommented if you live in the U.S. Now, if you live elsewhere, then go make sure that you have the correct locale for your particular situation. But uh, we're going to go ahead and write this out by doing Control o And then we'll press Enter to accept. And Control x to close. So then we'll, then we'll run locale gen. So let me see if we have that. All right. Well, I should have done a sudo, I suppose. So let's do sudo locale gen. Done deal. All right. So then the next thing to do, an echo, all caps, bang equals English, and then US. Now this is going to be particular to your particular environment or your area. But basically, I'm going to be copying what we have here. Okay, so it's English, US, UTF-8. Dot 
UTF dash eight. Okay, I'm gonna leave space and then a little arrow. And we're gonna put that into Etsy locale dot config. Okay. Yeah, we did it again, didn't we? Okay, so arrow up. And then we'll go over here to sudo. And we'll try it again. Still says permission denied. Well, that's not cool at all. Hmm. All right. Let's see if we can do that as root. So we we'll do this again, and we we'll go over here. Echo. All right, and that's done. Finally, it should be done. But let's check and see. If we can do that by doing a. Oh, uh, we'll just go ahead and use nano again. Nano. Let's see. Locale config. And as you can see, it did actually put that in this file, language equals English US UTF 8. So, without further ado, we'll control X out of that. So now we got to export it. And so we'll just go export. So basically, uh, we can repeat the same last line. You have to press up arrow twice, I guess. Let's see, we can delete this part. And then we can just change from echo to export. So we export it. All right, and that should be done. Now we're gonna check another file here. Right, so we go nano, and then uh, Etsy, vconsole.config. All right, and in my case, key map equals US, so that's proper. So, control X. All right, so that should have fixed it. Let's see if we have to restart the computer or if we can just go ahead and close this. Yeah, we have, oh, cancel. What we want to do now is type exit. And now we can close the deep end terminal. Control zero, bring it back to its normal size, and close. Now let's see if it works. We may need to reboot. Well, let's see. Nope, fires right up. Look at that. Here we go. So we fixed it. Simple enough. So if you have a problem with normal terminal not opening, what I would suggest you should do is go through and make sure that you have properly set up your locale in your installation. I can include these instructions or the steps you need to take in the description for this video if you'd like. So that wasn't too hard to fix. <laughs> Alright, so I was editing the video here and it occurred to me that it's possible that you may not have an extra terminal that you can uh, use. Maybe you never installed the drop-down terminal you could probably go through and do even without GNOME Terminal working. But say you didn't do that or you couldn't do that for whatever reason. You know, whatever. Point being, it's possible you may not have a terminal to fall back on. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can do this with uh, one of my virtual machines here. So I have Arch GNOME here. And uh, we'll just get it started. Okay, so when you get to this line here, where, where you select your operating system, press E where it says arch, press E, and then that'll allow you to come down here and edit. Now you're going to arrow down, and you're going to look for the line where it says basically Linux, boot, VM, Linux, right there. So scroll all the way through that line there to the end of it, past where it says quiet. Leave a little space, and then put a 3. Alright, once that's done, you can just do Control X. So let's go ahead and get logged in. And our password. Now, 
that brings you up to a terminal you can use. And uh, let's see if we can demonstrate a little more clearly what we did here. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is go to, we'll eliminate some of the problems we had the first time around, or just go super user right off the bat, put in your password. Right on. Then from there, we will go, and we're going to open with nano. We're going to go nano, Etsy, locale, dot jam. All right. So you're going to arrow down, and you're going to look for English. So look for the E's. So there's D's. Okay, English, and then you look for U.S. All right. So we have English, U.S. U.T.F. Eight. So delete that. And then you can control O to write it out. Enter to enter to accept, control X to close. Then the next thing you'll want to do is run locale gen. So locale gen. Right? So that's done. Then we'll do our echo command. So echo language. England or English language equals English really caps lock English US dot UTS dash eight space little arrow I'm gonna put that into Etsy locale dot config Alright, that's done. We can check that if you want to. Nano, Etsy, Cal.config. And we see that it is indeed there. So we'll control X to close that. Next thing we'll do is we'll do our exports. We'll just arrow twice. Delete the destination here on the previous step. And then we'll go over here and change this echo to export. Export. Okay, that should be done. All right, then the next thing to do now, the default for US, so this isn't necessarily crucial unless you installed something that actually changed it for you, in which case you'll have to make sure it's right or non existent. Either way, uh, we will go ahead and do this. So we will go nano, Etsy, V console dot CONF and as we see here it's non-existent in this particular one because I ran with the uh, the default but it's no big deal we'll go ahead and add it so in there we're going to just put caps lock and we'll key map key map equals and then US lowercase and there it is and we have control O to write it out Enter and control X to close. So that should pretty much have it. And now we can just uh, reboot. So to reboot, you just type reboot. All right. We'll be logged in. Cool. And there we are. Help. Go out. And as you can see, there's GNOME Terminal working. So, <laughs> there you go. I showed you in two operating systems how you can get that set up. And hopefully this information will help you out. Um, it will definitely... Uh, if your problem is your locale settings, and uh, then that will def this will definitely solve it. If you have a different problem, well, you know, I can't anticipate everything, and I'm sorry, but 
We tried, right? Hey, y'all take care. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.